Knives Nuggets. Strategic prayers are prayers that are according to the will and purposes of God. He is the one who stirs and leads us to lift up these prayers, which are sure to be answered by him. It is his means of engaging those who are born again to co-labor with him. Family is God's amazing idea. There is a spiritual family which includes all those who are born again. Ephesians 3 verses 14 to 16 and also the biological family, which all are naturally born into. While the former is the ultimate, God wants us to have his heart towards our natural families. Being a part of the new creation does not mean we should ignore our natural families. God is into saving entire households. Acts 16 verse 31 to 32 Unfortunately, Matthew 12 verses 48 to 50 is sometimes misconstrued. In the text, Jesus knew the disciples would become his spiritual family and discerned that the will of God for him in that moment was to continue ministering to them, but it should not be interpreted as a disregard for natural families. He did not have a negligent attitude towards his biological mother. Even while he was on the cross, he displayed care and compassion towards her. It must be highlighted that it is God who intentionally chose the family we were born into. Each family member was handpicked by him. Ephesians 6 has valuable admonitions to guide us as to how we should operate in our families, since much trials, pain, and spiritual warfare occurs in said context. If we apply the principles in the aforementioned chapter, we will rightly fight spiritual battles in and for our families. Note that the spiritual warfare that God calls us to is to walk in the character of the word, not attacking Satan and demons head-on with railing accusations. When we obey the word, then we are automatically armored and enabled to pray strategically. In this manner, sometimes we will even see our lives rebuke demons. We can rest in the fact that when we encounter these demons, the Lord will divinely instruct us as to how to deal with them if we must. One of the greatest ways to minister to our natural family is to pray strategically for them. This invokes the power of God to move and influence their hearts towards salvation and work in righteousness. We are permitted to pray for their protection, well-being, deliverance, spiritual growth, revelation, and enlightenment. Humbly embrace the fact that God may even allow family members to despitefully use or abuse you, that you may truly learn to operate as a son of God. Forgive quickly, keep your heart pure from offenses, and continue in prayer and other types of intercession that they may come into the will of God. Luke 6 verse 28 Additionally, it might be a long time before some relatives are saved, and so patient endurance will be required. Never stop loving them and continue in prayer. Family devotions should be a common practice in households. Parents ought to stand firmly in their positions, praying for their children, while enforcing a righteous lifestyle in and around the home. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Their practices should not deviate from the heart of this declaration. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15b 
Before we aspire to do ministry externally, we must see that our home is our training ground for all ministry. Therefore, we pray strategically for both our spiritual and biological families, because this is how we partner with God as He effects His will in the earth. There are, however, some oppositions to strategic prayers for our families. These include unforgiveness towards our family members. God will not hear any of our prayers with such a disposition. Spiritual blindness, in that we do not perceive the will of God for our family members. And disobedience, refusing to do or speak as the Lord instructs.